r slash ask reddit parents of reddit what is the most darkling thing your children have said my niece drew a picture of a man in her room that she kept telling her parents about he had two different colored eyes and one was gray when asked why it was gray she responded because he can see the storm coming that's ducking awesome that's metal as fool we were driving down a dark snowy highway late one evening final stretch of a 16 hour long road trip my son who was around four or five at the time was in the back seat and becoming a bit restless he suddenly covered his face with a blanket and announced loudly i don't want to get glass on my face a few moments later a pickup truck towing some snowmobiles pulled out in front of a tractor trailer a few cars in front of us and got hit spinning out into the median fortunately we avoided the accident completely it was indeed a bit creepy though almost as though he predicted there was going to be an accident right in front of us my three-year-old daughter was in the bath playing with her toys with me and laughing suddenly her face deadpans she looks me in the eye and tells me in a serious little voice mommy if you bit and ate all my fingers off i wouldn't love you anymore so you can still eat some just not all setting boundaries i like it my six-year-old daughter in the passenger seat a few days ago looked at me and said that when i'm seven i'm going to kill you no wait when i'm eight i had to ask so how are you going to do that she smiled and said i'm gonna drive over your head with this car i shall see if you're still alive in two years remained two years i have a three-year-old daughter she tells me that a red man comes into her room at night through her window. His name is Consequences and he's mean to her. She said he hurts her and stares at her while she is in her bed. She says that he comes in a spaceship with other red men. I have no idea where she would get the material for this story. And she really, really believes it. I've locked her window for her and pulled the blinds. All in an attempt to convince her that no one is getting in through her window. Sometimes. In the morning. She'll say it didn't work. Mama. Consequences got in last night again. I hope it's a phase and it will pass. My four year old son said. Daddy. I want to drill into your tummy. Crawl inside and eat your dinner. The food was okay but I didn't think it was worth that much effort. Someone's been eating strawberry smeagles. I see demons. I see demons. When my niece was around three or four years old. She told me she used to have a baby but it drowned. The baby was called peanut butter. But still. Asking kids what the names of things are is 100% comedy gold. We having a digging area on the playground at my school. And I always ask the kids what the names of the bugs they find are. The most recent was an earthworm named Fireball. Dude. That's an awesome name for a worm. Let's see if I can go for two. When I was about 3 we had a cat that had stillborn kittens. I asked my father if we could make crosses for them. Which he did. As he was making them I asked. Aren't those too small? Dad. What do you mean? Me. Aren't we going to nail them to them? Dad. After several moments silence. We're not going to do that me. Oh. Reddit.com link slash ask reddit comments slash 1d2v7i parents of reddit what is the creepiest thing? Oh holy hit. I imagine your dad's face just melting into a complete what horror have I wrought? Look. My daughter was about 2. I was giving her a bath. At the time. I was in the beginning of a mental breakdown due to marital stress. One of the things I tend to do is sort of live in a different world in my head while in real life. I'm on autopilot. So. My little world involved a sort of ritual use of a sword. I was playing a scene from that in my head while bathing my daughter. While I was standing her up. She asked what's the long knife. I froze for a moment. And just said it's a sword I didn't say anything else and from there on in. I tried really really hard not to be in that world around her anymore. When my son was small. I was talking to him about growing potatoes. I described how you bank up the earth around them as they grow. And he said I used to do that when I was an old man. Yes when my sister was around 3 we drove past an old tennis club. Run down and no longer being used. When I was old I played tennis there. 
kids have such a weird idea of time. Like they always refer to when you, adult, older sibling, were little and they were big. My son was telling me a story the other day about when he was big and I was in his uterus. My friend's 7 year old kid pretended to put me in jail. Our conversation went something like this. Me. What did I do? Forget to brush my teeth? Didn't do my homework? Huh? You murdered a 23 year old woman while she was jogging in the early morning. Me. Comma. When my cousin was 2 years old or so. Her mom got pregnant again. One day she went to hug her mom's belly and said little brother sick. A few days later she had a miscarriage. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
My dad builds houses and when they're done he has them staged for when they go on the market. As a kid he'd pay me to run around the house with painters tape to mark out dings and scrapes that had to be patched. Every single house he did I swore I could see my grandfather just chilling in a chair. Usually in the sitting family room. It was usually a double take moment and he disappeared when I'd look directly at the chair. But I could recognize him. A few years later I was out drinking with my dad and I mentioned how I used to see his father's ghost in all the houses he built. And my dad got serious and told me he used to see the same thing. I was with my sister. Her husband. And their 2 year old daughter. We were talking about loved ones that had recently passed. My father had died sometime recently. My brother in law went and grabbed a picture of his mother. Who had died in a car crash when he was 6. To show me. When my niece saw the picture though she started laughing. We asked her what was so funny and she looked at us and said that's my special friend who sings to me. I still shiver a bit just thinking about it. I would really cry if I heard this. I would love for my dad to be a part of my son's life. When he was a little infant. Probably 2 months old. He used to stare and stare and laugh at this bookcase full of my dad's things. I was explaining to my niece the difference between things that can and can't change about people she was confused because she'd met a set of three siblings and the eldest wasn't the tallest. So I told her that one day even she, an itty bitty four year old could be taller than me. A big huge grown up. But even if she was taller, I would always be older. She looked me serious as you like and says you'll be dead sooner too. Not if you keep that hit up. Huh? Try me. Bitch. Thanks for watching mate, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more high quality content.